you know what's one thing I've noticed? Most of my vlogs, deep in the sun at 81 BPM, most of my vlogs start in my room with a do-rag on. Anyways, what it do, y'all? It's your boy JD, Jonathan. You know what it is. One, two, three, X, Y, and Z. Whatever. Yo, so today I have a studio session here in the Bronx. Studio. I don't think I, I'm lying. I was never given the name of the studio. Um, but it's here in the Bronx. Um, so I'm going to go there. The session starts at 3. So I'm going to try and get there around 2.50. Just to have some, you know, beat the system a little bit. Get there around 2.50. Bring my stuff, all that. I was actually just going over the songs. Um, I can't play the songs for you. Um, I could play what I played to it. So usually before I play on the session, I like to play it here at the crib with like my own mic so I could hear what I sound like through the mics and see if that would sound nice. Um, Cause you know, mics is here, mics is there. So it's gonna sound the same. Not necessarily, but the idea, you know, the feel more or less. So I was here practicing to it on my own a little bit before I left. Um, and it's just a lot of groove. It's two songs. The name is called Sweet Anger and Deep in the Sun. I don't want to play it because I don't I don't think I have permission to. But it's by um, Andres, a.k.a. Rockette. He's a guitar player from PA. Cool guy, man. He's an artist. He's coming out with some of his music. Um, so I'm just grateful to be a part. Thank you for the call, bro. If you watch this, God bless you, bro. Much love. Um, I kind of did my own thing already. Let's see if I can play it. Let me go to preferences real quick. Audio. Output device, built in input, plot changes, installation core audio. There you go. So yeah, that's just the idea. That's for Deep in the Sun. Um, it's just, it's a lot of groove. Feels good. Um, it's just a lot of feel, a lot of groove. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna knock it out, one, two, three, and come back home. Not really, but I gotta go and do some other stuff. Um, but you, got, you guys are just gonna stay with me for the studio session. So, taking y'all along. But first, I need to get some breakfast because your boy is a little hungry. You feel me? It's 12.56 right now. I woke up like around 9, a little later than usual. But we out. Let's get it. Hey, Alexa. Who's playing right now? This is Chandler Moore. studio session um but right before i left the house i just got a invitation to play at a funeral so i guess that's gonna happen today um i'm gonna take you guys along with me it's also in the bronx i think it's a it's a 70s of god church i think they're just using the space so we're gonna go there right after the studio session knock out the, the quick session the two sessions quickly go straight there i want to change the clothes um i might go back home if i have time but if not i'm gonna go straight to the church um and you know play there and then go home Yo, so we're here at the studio. Uh, just got here like 10 minutes ago. Just finished setting up. Brought my Ludwig Superphonics. I'll show the setup later. Um, we're about to get started in a few. And yeah. Still thinking about that funeral that I have to play out later. It's kind of crazy. But it is what it is. So while the fellas is taking care, trying to figure out the click situation, I'm rocking here a 19 inch uh, Nebula. I have the Dorado Singles <clears throat> clap stack, the Sony clap stack. Rocking a 22 inch Aslan Rod, one of my favorite rods. Designed by Nadi Marset, shout out to the bro. And I have this one of the newest editions that I just got. Um, Raw 
Strawberry hats, but underneath I have 50 inch Nomad hats. Um, this kit sounds amazing up here. The Pearl Masters Custom. Sounds great. still need working because we are sheep and we need a pastor we need um, so we're here at the church um, and usually funerals are always weird um, not weird but you wouldn't really have a live band for funerals but this is what they requested, so it went well. It went really well, so I'm trying to be as discreet as possible right now. They're just paying their last respects and showing love to the family. Um, I pray for strength, you know, for the family because the death is never easy. But the preacher said something very powerful. He said, for those in the world, death is a terror. But for us, it is a welcoming, a welcoming to eternity. So, I just want to encourage y'all, man. Stay in this walk. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Stay in Christ because it's worth it in the end. I see y'all. Much love.